Hey guys, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So this is day 20 and the topic for the day is shorting. So today we have the problem which says that consider the following version of bubble shot. So this is the bubble shot algorithm given and we need to take it into consideration while solving the problem. So the task for the day is that we have an array of size n having distinct element and we need to short this array in the ascending order using the bubble shot algorithm which is provided to us. Okay, this and at the last of the solution we need to print something so these are the three things which need to be printed at the last of the solution the first thing which we need to print is that the array is sorted in a number of swaps that means the total number of swaps that were taken during sorting the array into the ascending order and then in the next line we need to print the first element of the array after sorting and and the third line we need to print the last element of the array after the shorting and there's a hint also to complete this challenge you need to add a variable that keep running tally of all the swaps occurring during the execution that means we need to take a num swaps so that we can have the total number of swaps that we have done to short the array this code we need to write from here so, okay so it has taken the size of the array and also taken the input of the array so next thing which we need to we need to short this array so first of all we will just declare num swaps is zero okay so next thing which we it has done that run a for loop from zero to n so okay we have to do this using for i okay and inside this we will declare another variable named as number of swaps okay and it will be zero initially and uh, here we need to run another loop so for z for j in range up to n minus one okay so less than n minus 1 from 0 to n minus 1 okay then inside this we need to use if a of z is greater than a of j plus 1 so we need to do swap so for swap we will use a third variable so let's take it as temp a of j then inside a of j we will put a of j plus 1 and inside j plus 1 we will put 10 so we have done swapping here and after done swapping we will need to increase the number of swap so it will be increased by 1 okay so yes and here now we will check if uh, number of swaps is equal to zero that means no swapping has been done so it suggested that the array is sorted so we will just simply break it otherwise we will add num swap plus equal to number of swaps otherwise we will need to add the number of swaps which we have done so okay now here we need to print the three things so here is the output format so first thing will be the array is sorted in so we will copy this and here inside print function we will put it here so here we will put percentage d and the value of t will be here so it will be modulus and the value will be inside the num swaps so okay now in the next line we need to print is the first element so we will copy this from here now we will paste it and you can simply 
राइट द वेरिएबल नेम बट आई एम टाइपिंग बाई यूजिंग परसेंटेज ट्री सो द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट विल बी ए ऑफ जीरो एंड सिमिलरली द लास्ट एलिमेंट विल बी ए ऑफ एन सॉरी एन माइनस वन बिकॉज द साइज ऑफ एट एज एन सो दिस इज अ कोड नाउ वी विल रन दिस कोड Third question. Congratulations. Now we will submit this. So as you can see, all the test cases have been passed. So first of all, we have taken a num swaps equal to zero for counting the total number of swaps which have been done during the sorting of the array, and then we have used a for loop as showing in the algorithm. Then A local declaration of number of swaps equal to zero has been done similarly. Then the simple for loop for j equal to zero to less than n minus one, and then we have used the if condition as given in the algorithm. And here, in the place of using the swap function, we have just simply swap using this uh, using the third variable. You can do this simply by just as a of j comma a of j plus 1 equal to a of j plus 1 comma a of j this will also work so let me show you so as you can see this is also working so okay then after swapping we have increased the number of swaps variable by 1 okay and Here we have checked if the total uh, if the number of swaps is zero, that means there is no swapping has been done. So that means the array is sorted. So we will break it. Otherwise, we will just add the number of swaps into the num swaps. Okay, and here we need to print the three outputs. So we have printed them. Okay, so that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, then don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for watching. This is Sachin signing off.